How you doing everyone? Welcome to episode 4. If you remember from the last episode, we lost to Tottenham, we lost to City, we beat Burnley and Wolves, and all in all a good episode really. Um, so this next one we've got Scunthorpe in the League Cup, Newcastle, Bournemouth, maybe even Cardiff. Winnable games, but still tough nonetheless. So let's crack on and continue with this adventure. Wow, 7-1. Now Chelsea are having a bit of an indifferent season in this game so far. But wow, that answered their critics, didn't it? It's Watford at home and no mugs. So that is a good result there. Sarri has got it going on there. Wow, man. That could just... Pepper. Hey. It was a strange one that, wasn't it? Because we signed Allison for a world record for a goalkeeper, and then within a matter of weeks, they signed Kepper and Trump to that. And I certainly know who the better keeper is for me. It's not Kepper, <laughs> although he's he's decent and he's got potential. Not denying that, but Allison all day long, and I have my doubts about Allison. At the beginning of the season, I thought, well, he's got a mistake in him. You know, he'd done a few dodgy things, but every keeper's got a mistake in him. The best of the best, you know, have, have had mistakes in him. So, um, I mean, I saw Buffon do one the other day. I mean, I know he's, he's, he's like 40, 41 or whatever, but he's still a world-class keeper. And, you know, all keepers make mistakes, but... You know, without Allison and Van Dijk and Gomez at the beginning, who's been quality, even Matip, who's stepped in and done well, you know, Robertson and Arnold are brilliant on the wings. Without that base, we wouldn't be where we are at the minute. Still hunting for the for the Premier League title, and yeah, we addressed that. I think when Klopp first come, he tended to. He went for this gung ho football, a bit like what Rodgers had done before him. You know, it was all about scoring more than the other team, not really worrying about the defence. And in great fairness to Klopp, he addressed that. You know, he realised we needed a solid backbone. He spent the money that we rightly earned to spend, and he's addressed the problems that we had. And now we just look a fantastic outfit. Only worry is the depth for the team. I think we, we're going to have to dip in and try and get some players to, you know, and sort of match City as best we can, really. Even though that's hard because they, um, City, when a player goes out injured, they can bring t another two in to replace him of, you know, of pretty much equal quality, not not far behind. We haven't really got that at Liverpool, so that's something we have to address. Back on topic of the game. Um, Quite is back. But how did Hennessy, Hennessy had a good? Uh, I might keep Hennessy for now. Uh, is there anything I need to change? No, everything's pretty much. Although, hang on a minute. This is the League Cup, isn't it? I think, so I, I forgot it was a league cut, I'm going to tempted to change this around a bit, Schlapp will give a go, <coughs> uh, may even give, no we'll keep him there, we'll take Sacco, we'll put Kayate in there, 
Uh, we'll give MacArthur a run around. Sacco for Zaha. Mm, are you? We swap them two round actually. Um, with Barkley, and we'll play Mayer Barkley. Um, who we got? Anyone in here? It's worth a call up. Eighteen, but not great, really. This guy, not great. Wow, these guys are pretty poor. There's no one really, is there? So yeah, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it like that, I think. Oh no, so, sorry, I wanted to play Carol, didn't I, instead of Batshuayi. And I'm just going to play Carol how I was playing Batshuayi, see if that works. Um, drink water, perhaps. Martin Kelly, no, MacArthur is he, what's he like, yeah we give James MacArthur the captaincy, yeah so we're going to change this up today, I mean we should still in theory beat Scunthorpe but you never know, you know, it's not me disrespecting the, the cup because I want to win it, there's no doubt about that but it's the second round um. Yeah, I we should still have enough. Although we've just got injury to a key defender there, which is just typical because he was one that I didn't change. Great. That now means Sacco is going to have to come on. Uh, that's a pain. Could have done without that. Andy Carroll it's the post there. Carroll needs to step up today. In games like this, he needs to really be bossing. He needs a goal. He seems like he's in the thick of the action at the minute, which is good. I'm not going to lie, even though I've, I've played a weakened team here, I would be gutted if I went out of this competition. Oh, man. Right. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do then. Damn it. We didn't want that, did we? Barkley, forward run. I feel like it dribbling. It's pretty good. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, he's going to play off Carroll. Take Carroll off the four runs. Ah, oh, man. That is annoying. That is really annoying, that is. See how that works. Get in, Barkley comes on, scores the goal. Get in, Barkley again. Inspired substitution. Ten men, a man down, and he comes on and gets two goals. Brilliant. Right. I think I'm going to go back to normal now, not press, not play offside trap. Uh, bring him Van Armholt for Schlupp. Keep it as it is. No need to bring any of the other big ones on. Carroll, get in! Andy Carroll gets his first club. Buzz him with that. I was hoping he'd get a goal, and he gets it. Oh, smashing it! 
Carol again. Ooh. <laughs> I'm pleased with this. Considering the circumstances, to be winning 3 0, brilliant. Gone for just not offered nothing really, have they? Ah, and there we go, they got one back. Very pleased with that, really pleased with that. The lads played well. They stepped up when they needed to. Brilliant. Wow, 7 0 Southampton. So let's change that. Yeah, I mean, we sort that out in a bit. <coughs> so he's banned for three matches. I wonder what the hell that was for. Is it worth appealing? He was punched in the face. Webster was punched in the face by Serco, so there's no point in appealing that because they're not going to overturn that. <sighs> He's out for three weeks, which is a gutter. So we're going to have to play someone in his place. Well, Juventus lost. That's good for Liverpool in their group. Real Madrid lost as well. draw should be coming up soon for the next round of the League Cup <coughs> if we can avoid a real big boy and get yeah, a smaller team at home it would be perfect Townsend's due back soon which is good City are just bossing the league, aren't they? Which you'd expect. Smashing it. Six out of six. Conceded just three goals. Top scorers in the league with 18. Take some stopping. Andy Carroll got called up to the England squad against Brazil. Wow, that has shocked me. So on the back of one good game against a lower league team, where he scores, he gets called up. Well, fair play. I'm shocked at that. Very shocked. Wolves are in the fourth. We got a good result against him, really, considering. <laughs> Palace v Newcastle. So Rafa Benitez. Love this bloke. Fantastic he was for us. Hey, high shade given in the scout. Um yeah, I love Benitez. And so much for our club. In fact if he was round now like I love Klopp as well, absolutely love Klopp. Um but I think had 
Benitez had this team as well, he would be doing equally as good. Because they're, they're both fantastic managers. And I'm so glad that I've got to witness having Klopp and Benitez as, as managers of, of the football club. Just brilliant. Great characters and just love them. Uh, Martin Kelly, I think, is going to have to come in from Ride Wild. Uh, let me want drink water. Barkley. Townsend still not fit, so we'll have to play Maya. That's why you can come back in. You've got Hennessy. Van Arnold. Gariate. MacArthur. Probably Schlupp. AU. Carroll. And then Milevojic. Back as captain. Yeah, that's all good. So, Newcastle, Monday night football on the box. Tough game against Rafa Benitez's outfit. Looking good. A bit of an even game so far. Drink water on a yellow. Come on, boys, come on. Oh. So nil nil, close game. Uh, condition of the players, everyone's pretty much all right. She's nervy. Um, What's he like up top, actually? Is he? That's not that good, is he? I'm going to bring Zahar off. Actually, that's a bad idea. He's he's one of our attacking weapons, but he's not playing that great. And he's on a yellow. You can't really bring a player like that off. I'll bring Mayer off. Carroll. It's not worth putting him on yet, is it? That's why he's more of a false. There's nothing really more to change, I don't think. Let's see if we can add a bit of quality. Get in, Barkley. Brilliant. He's smashing it. We bring on Carol again and MacArthur for drink water because he's on the yellow. Carroll nearly scored against his old club. 
get in. 1 0. They have more efforts, Newcastle. Barkley, get in. We we'll take that. Another clean sheet. They're buzzing with that one. Bournemouth next. At home. And then Cardiff at home. Two games I would expect six points out of, but you never know. You never know. Wonder who the first manager in the Premier will be to get sacked in this. What does that say? So the third round, and we got Ipswich at home. Liverpool Chelsea, a big tie there. That was actually um, what happened in real life this year Liverpool Chelsea in the League Cup third round, and I actually went to that game. I went up with my mate to watch that, and I think we went 1-0 up and then Hazard changed the game, knocked us out. Pretty gutting. Yeah, I was at that game and it's replicated it. So we've got Ipswich at home. I'm happy with that. Wrexham what are Wrexham doing in the Europa League that's strange <laughs> just want to check that out actually that's probably probably an error in the game that because Wrexham shouldn't be in there Maybe they've took some Welsh team's place or something. I don't, I don't know, but that is strange. Let's just see who's representing England in that in there. So if we go to the first round, let's have a look. Bear with me. I just wanna just wanna check this out. I like to check things like this. So you have who are in it real life? Burnley. Chelsea and Arsenal were in it real life, weren't they? The first round, I'm guessing... was not when the big teams come in. It must be the second round, which we just had. So you've got Arsenal. Um, checking this through here. Arsenal... Um, yeah, Wrexham, that is strange. They're in the National League, which is like the bottom of the bottom. Like where Maidstone and Ebbsfleet are, which are teams that are quite near me. Well, Gillingham are actually the nearest, but... Yeah, the, of the Northern League, and they were in the Europa League. That That is strange. Um, anyway, yeah... Um, Continue to look. So Chelsea should be at Rangers. Yeah. Chelsea, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Burnley, maybe. Burnley money included. Yeah, I think in real life Burnley were in the qualifier. And they, for some reason they ain't been included in it. But yeah. Wrexham seem to have took their place, but never mind. <laughs> We 
just a coding error that one. Right, so Bournemouth next. Kuyati's out. So Townsend's back. Brilliant. So we're going to throw him straight in. I'll check he's 100% fit. He is brilliant. So he can go in. Again, other than that, nothing really to change. How did Kelly get on last game? Played okay. Yeah, so we got turning back, which is great. So I'm expecting the boys to go out here and, and smash Bournemouth. I mean, Bournemouth are away from home are a tricky team. They're, they're a hard side to beat. Same with Brighton, same with Burnley. The, the B sides, are, they're hard. Get in, Barkley again. Um, they're hard teams away from home to beat. But no, Sorry, at, their, at home they're hard to beat. But when they go away from home, they're not as good... And look, they made me eat my words. Maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> Nathan Ake, he's a good player, isn't he? Ex Chelsea. Oh, I should have just shut up, really, shouldn't I? Sorry, I'm just. Couple of things here. Jordan Ayab, I see like pretty decent. He had so much potential at Liverpool, Jordan Ayab. When he played, I remember seeing his debut against Everton. I was um, I was in Athens, I believe, and he looked brilliant. He looked really like he looked better than Raheem Sterling, but for some reason he just didn't fulfil his potential. And I've just missed them two goals. So yeah, brilliant. And they've got a head. They've I believe Fraser headbutted somebody and got sent off. So we should go on and win this now. I'd be very surprised if we blew this now. Oh, and Townend injured again. We probably brought him back too soon. Great. Hopefully that's not too serious. Oh. Barkley again, oh, Ross Barkley's smashing it at the minute, I'm really in form. Nothing to change really, all good. Do me usual and bring on Andy Carroll in the last few minutes. We'll also bring an RU. Freshen it up. I like to bring Carroll on in these last 10 minutes because gives him a bit of playing time. It just keeps him sharp if we need him. You never know if that's why he's going to get an injury. Nice win, that. I'm very, very happy with that. Brilliant. Oh, he's out for another two weeks. Great. So we've got Cardiff next. Three out of three in this episode so far. Cardiff at home, you'd expect us to win as well. Then it gets hard. Everton, Chelsea, Man United and Arsenal sandwiched in between with a League Cup tie. That's when it really gets hard again. 
So these sort of games we're playing now are the games that we need to pick up the points in. The games against the bigger teams are free for all, basically. We're not expected to win. Anything we do gets a bonus. So we're third at the minute. And what, how many games are we in? Seven games in, that's not bad at all. And the two games we've lost were against the top two. So we've we've done really well so far. That's about right as well. Look, the top 12, of the real 12 strong teams in the Premier, I would say. Oh, you could argue that Palace are in there. You need to put someone else in there, but I think the rest of them spot on. Okay. Guardiola, manager a month again. De Bruyne, Gundozi of Arsenal. Let's just have a look actually who's leading the scoring charts. So De Bruyne, he's playing the best. Batshuayi, wow. So. He's on loan from Chelsea for us, and he's got seven goals out of seven games. He's smashing it at the minute. Turning's out again. Oh. And I have to put Soiree on. Is everyone fit? Kelly's light and young fit. But we've not really got any other options, so yeah, we we'll stick with him. Cardiff. Yeah, they're sitting back and defending Cardiff. You'd expect them to do that, really. No game's easy in the Premier League. No game. I would be paid off though if we didn't take three points from this. It's got to be a banker card if at home, but <laughs> they're defending well at the minute. Come on, boys, create. Not much going on at all in that off. It's really stifled us. Obviously playing for a point. Um, I guess he might have a slight knock. No. Nothing to change really. Keep doing what we're doing. Get in, Maya. In for Townsend and delivers. Now Cardiff have to come out. They have to come out now. So it should open up a bit more. <sighs> I'm going to take Batch right off again, even though he's top scorer. Give Carroll a bit of a run out again. And I'm going to get the lads to cross the balls in. Go more up the line. I'm going to bring AU on Zaha and MacArthur for Milovic. I just like to sort of change it up, get players involved, get the squad involved, take off key players when I can to rest them, stop them getting injuries. It's just the way I play this game, really. Carroll, get in! First Premier League goal for Palace. I seem to get more excited when Carroll scores than anyone else. I think that's because I bought him in. He was a gamble. And I just want my money to be paid back, basically, with good performances. And he's done all right so far. 
You know, he's not played a lot of football, but when he's come on, he's done okay. He's got an England call up as well against Brazil, so must be doing something right. And he scores again. Get in. It's a man of the match, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Well, that can do in the world a good gun in the international break. Fair play to the lad. And City have actually lost their first game to Tottenham. Wow. That's a top of the table clash and Tottenham beat them. Brought their winning run to a halt. And Tottenham are actually the only undefeated team now. Liverpool smash Fulham 4 0. Sturridge got a run out. Because he actually played Mane deeper this time. Ah, it seemed to work, that's for sure. He did bring, well, he brought Sturridge off, didn't he? So. Brilliant, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I remember my old save. I, I played. Um, I was playing with West Ham. Um, this was on the what update was that? I think this was last season's data update. Um, and yeah, I played a, a full season, and I got West Ham into the Champions League by the skin of our teeth. Got them into fourth position. It was so tight. You can actually see them videos on on my YouTube uh, channel. But I abandoned that save. I think. I don't know if I think it might have got corrupted somehow. I've done something wrong. I think I edited the database or something when I shouldn't have to, to update it a bit more. Um, yeah, and something happened to it. But um, yeah, um, it was a great save because I got West Ham in by the skin of the teeth. And I think I played a few games of the of the next season and weren't doing so good. And yeah, just uh, the save just went basically. And uh, if we could do something similar with Palace, it would be fantastic. So Andy Carroll played in the defeat by Brazil. Did he start? No, I think what happened. So he started on the bench. He come on. He got a five, and then they took him off again. Let's just see what happened there. If I'll be able to see it, to be honest. Carroll came off for Murray on the 88th minute. Uh, I don't know what happened, but yeah, he didn't perform basically. But yeah, going back to that West Ham save, you will be able to see that on my YouTube channel, and it was a great, it was, it was a real good season, it was. Got into the Champions League by a skin of our teeth, and I think we drew Real Madrid in our group. But yeah, unfortunately, I just the save didn't carry on. I, I can't remember, as I say, if it got corrupted or I just, I think the new data update come out and I just went with that or I don't know. I just something happened and um, yeah, but it's it's on there. It was it was a good season, but with this one, I'm hoping to to carry on with it for quite a long while. So. Yeah, hopefully this one will have some long long activity about it. You'll be able to follow closely for this one. If we can do something similar in this season, well, wow, great. So I don't think we're gonna get in. I think it's Everton next, isn't it? I don't think we're going to squeeze that one in. But we'll run up to the 45-minute mark. We're close to it. See how far we get in the game. But yeah, I don't think we're going to fit that game in this episode. But it's been a good one. We've won all our games. Perfect. Andy Hessenthaler sat by Dover. To most of you, you probably ain't got a clue who he is. He was he used to play for Gillingham. Now Gillingham are my local team. 
I don't follow them because I don't believe in divided loyalty. Um, I think if you if you're going to support a team like Liverpool from a different region, then that should be your be all and end all. Liverpool and nothing else. Um, I do know of some people that follow their local team as well. That's up to them. Fair, you know, there's no law against that. It's, it's completely fine, really. But it's, I'm not a believer in it. I think if you're going to support one a team, you support one team, one club team, and your national team, not your local team as well. That's just just the way I am. I mean, I like to see. Gillingham do well. I look at their results after Liverpool just to see how they're getting on, and I like to see them do well. I'd, I'd rather them win against anyone else they are playing. But if it come a chance where perhaps Gillingham drew Liverpool in the FA Cup or the League Cup, which I have been waiting for years, for, for years, it'd be Liverpool every time because that's just my team. So, um, but yeah, Hessen Tyler, he was a good little player for Gillingham. He he uh, he managed them. He played for them. But yeah, that's why I brought clicked on him to be honest. <laughs> so here's the Everton game. Will we get it in? Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. If we can get through it quick, the two slaps there. Tompkins is back, that's good news. Okay, right, let's go for it. So I, so I said we wouldn't get it played. I didn't realise it would come around that quick. So let's see if we can get it in. Well, we will get it in now because play, I'm playing it. But <laughs> Come on, Everton's a tough game, especially away from home. We've got some good players, good manager. Take a point here all day long. I don't think we've drawn yet, actually. We haven't, have we? We've not got a draw yet. <sighs> even first half, that one. Not a lot going on, but very even. To Evan and push their players up to score. Oof, no. We don't want to end the episode bad. I played this one too soon. A chance luck. Come on, boys. Get in. Oh, Petro. Come on, boys. Yes, Barkley again against his old club. That would be a bit of pill for him to swallow in some senses, but he's got to do his job and he scored. Get in. Oh, this would be a good result, this. So I'm going to bring Ayu on, and that's going to be it, I think. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. Andy Carroll, Tompkins on as well for Martin Kelly. Give him a five minute run out, back from injury. Come on, boys. Yes, yes, get in. What a result. Buzzing with that. Buzzing with that result. That's Perfect to end the episode. Brilliant. Look at that, and we're in second place. Boom. Excellent, that. And the ball are just loving it. Alright, everyone, we're coming up to the 45 minute. So, fantastic episode that. Won every single game that was asked of us. Brilliant, buzzing with that, and I'll see you for the next one.